I'm Sarah Eisenberg, founder and publisher of Santa Cruz TechBeat. Santa Cruz TechBeat is the go-to source for all things tech in our region, from comprehensive news about local tech business developments and startups, to thought leadership from our local tech ecosystem. Plus, Santa Cruz TechBeat has job and event listings, resources, and more. I'm here to tell you about some current developments in the local tech scene that you need to know. Nonprofits need to market their message, just like other businesses. However, they often lack the time, skills, and funds to create a mobile app to do this. That's where Santa Cruz startup Mobile Ranger comes in. Mobile Ranger helps nonprofits create their own content within a self-guided mobile app. In one such collaboration, using information and photographs from the Coastal Watershed Council, Mobile Ranger created an eight-stop walking tour along the San Lorenzo River. Mobile Ranger aspires to be the go-to resource for the natural and human history of places. Their public launch party is October 27th at the Museum and Art and History in Santa Cruz. Despite forecasts that El Nino rains are coming this winter, using less water is a concern for all of us in California and especially here on the Central Coast. Calliope Waterworks, a Santa Cruz startup, is making the first whole house water controller to help households reduce water usage by half without changing landscaping or lifestyle. Calliope's product tells you how and when you're using water so you can track and budget your usage. Calliope recently came out of stealth mode at TechCrunch Disrupt in San Francisco that month, last month and is currently in a public beta test phase. Talking about water, soaring costs for everything related to agriculture, including water, are some of the factors driving the emerging local ag tech industry. Ag tech startups are popping up throughout our region, which is quickly becoming a hub for agricultural innovation. Ag tech firms in Watsonville, Scotts Valley, Salinas, and Santa Cruz include and it's a pretty long list, impressive. Includes Soliculture, Sustainable Productivity Solutions, Agron, Bioenergy, Heavy Connect, Noob Track, Agrite, Hullux, Food Origins, City Blooms, and AgTech Insight. Want to learn more? The Santa Cruz County AgTech Meetup meets on the last Wednesday of each month at Digital Nest in Watsonville. A local Mobile Game Studio, Asylum Labs, has been accepted into the William Hill Labs Accelerator and is now in London for a month. Although not well known in the US, William Hill, I've heard, is a household name in the UK and Europe. Asylum was one of only seven startups accepted to the prestigious accelerator out of 250 applicants. Way to go, Asylum. Asylum Labs is the developer of the social bingo game, Wild Party Bingo. The game has been live for a year. What does a business curriculum look like for today's budding entrepreneurs? That's the question the new Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurial Development at UC Santa Cruz hopes to answer. The program, also known as CIED or SEED, is the latest reincarnation of UA UCSC Center for Entrepreneurship, previously known as C4E. Director Sue Carter, physics professor and associate dean of graduate studies, is leading the new business center. SEED plans to not only continue C4E's programs, such as the annual hackathon, but also add an entrepreneurship academy for undergraduate and graduate students to help them turn inventions into business models. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time for more news and developments from the Santa Cruz tech scene. And of course, for the latest news, jobs, and events anytime, go to santacruztechbeat.com.